Job 15.35 They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity. Their belly prepareth deceit. Call Halal Yahweh Bashan Abashai Bashan Rakakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be among the heathen nations, <clears throat> the Israelite foreigners, and to the Akwath that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm coming at you with another lesson in truth. And this is a, a, a video that was put up. That, well, you had, I, I've seen two different videos from two different of my fellow, fellow laborers, beloved brothers. And when I saw and heard what she said, I had to do a response. The spirit jumped on me right away. Um, I wrote down some scriptures and, you know, and said, OK, I, I have to do a response to this. So without any further ado. This uh, young in appearance to be an Edomite. Um, person who very who could be who could not be, <clears throat> um, but we're in the time where their tongues are falling upon themselves, and the Edomites are just starting to give up information. So here we go. All right, we will say first and foremost, all praise, honor, glory, and Wait. fear to your hey, house. Not, that was the brother. I'm basically gonna play this. This is basically a woman on TikTok. That she's gonna be reading there you go it came off of TikTok by uh by one of the elite family members by the covenant. here we go the secret covenant the secret covenant all right that's what it was it was called I assumed all right Salaki so I had it queued up I don't know what happened then it kind of went back to the beginning so Salaki so but here we go the secret covenant this was apparently written by John D. Rockefeller, like in the early 1800s. An illusion. It will be so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water, also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find them a cure on our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their mind and reproductive systems. From this, their children will be born dead and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them in what they drink, eat, breathe, wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons for they can see far. We will teach them that poisons are good with fun images and musical tones. Mm. Those they look up Two will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used on film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons in the blood of their children and convince them it is for their help. We will start early on. When their minds are young, we will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill them and steal their future. Their ability to learn has been affected. We will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will yet create yet more medicines. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow, obese, and when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus 
their attention toward money and material goods so they may never connect with the inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures, and games so they may be with, one, with the oneness of it all. This is incredible because the average listener, even though you heard it, you didn't hear it. It's, I, I am completely blown away because everything that has been happening for the last hundred years and especially sped up over like the last 30 is, is been revealed. All right. This is Job 15 and and five. For thy mouth uttereth thine iniquity and thou choosest thine chooses the tongue of the crafty. Thy own mouth condemneth thee and and not I. Yet thine own lips testify against thee. So this is perceivably one of their own yet again. Because she said in the beginning, those that speak shall die. Those that talk. So people like Arthur Kostler, when he wrote the 13th tribe, exposing that the Jewish people are Edomites. That they're, that they're converts, um, you know, and that they're not, they're not uh, 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 of the seed of Jacob at all. All right. That the Jewish people in the land of Israel. And what happened off the Kostler? He took a four story leap out of his uh out of his is his uh, uh his apartment, his condo in London, I believe. And his wife decided to take a leap with him. They I think they ruled it a double suicide. But you know, we're sure that, you know, the Messiah had nothing to do with, with that at all. You know, they're completely innocent of the poor uh, you know, influ influence of Arthur Kostler, you know, going out his four-story apartment building to the concrete. All right. Who else? William uh, Michael Cooper, who wrote, uh, 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 it's the famous book that he wrote, uh, Behold the Pale Horse. He even wrote in his book, I read that book many, many years ago. All right. But, uh, uh, and that's the beginning of that conscious waking up thing, you know, how the Lord starts waking you up with the Illuminati stuff and all these different conspiracies, you know, that they call conspiracy. And that's what they do. They any at least she said that if they see it, then they'll be called crazy. That's your that's the use of the word conspiracy, because guess what? When you're in a bubble, you can't see the bubble. This is a. Uh, wisdom of Solomon. Uh, 10 and, and, and 5 and it reads moreover the nations in their wicked conspiracy being confounded alright she found out righteousness and preserved him blameless unto, unto power and kept him strong against his tender compassions toward his son so the Lord is going to keep those of the elect and Esau has been found out exposed and all the nations that are involved. And all those nations are even. And you have to understand. They're even screwing over their own people. They're willing to sacrifice. Esau is sacrificing uh, many of his own people. And so are the elites of the other nations. Because their people are falling victim to this stuff as well. But don't doubt in your mind. Or think in one mind. That this was not created and targeted. Toward the Israelites. So called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. You are the, the, the first priority target. The Edomites, the, the millions of Edomites that get affected by this and heathens that get affected by this, by this they're just collateral damage. All right. Um, let's grab another scripture. This is Ezekiel. Uh, four. And 13. And it reads. And Yahweh said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their bread defiled among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. So everything we eat and drink is poison. She talked about poisons and metals. Look, when you get dental work, she said, she said that they would uh, give them sweets and ruin their teeth. Lots of children get cavities. And then what do they do? They fill your mouth with metal, with mercury. Uh, 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 I believe it's mercury in the fillings, with metal in the fillings. And if you have fillings... And you think that it doesn't affect you because you should be able to take a, a piece of gum foil and put it in if you don't have any fillings at all and put it in, and bite down on it and it doesn't affect you. If you bite down on a foil 
and you have feelings, the pain is going to shoot through your body, through your mouth. So they're affecting you. Everything that they do. Going back to, like she said, those that talk, she'll, uh, uh, de death will come to them. You know, she said they're bound by blood and secrecy. Who else talked and he ended up dead? President Kennedy. He talked about secret uh, uh, forces behind the government that are controlling things. They said that they would inject your children with things and make them sick and, 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 and make the people sick. Well, you got, you got serious low birth rates. All right. The lowest being among the Edomites. So this really affected them. And then you got ED problems. That's affecting almost all men across the board, especially once they cross a certain age bracket. Once they once they hit forty and all, they they having issues collectively. And matter of fact, be honest, with you, less than that, because you got guys in their thirties and twenties, you know, taking taking penis pills, and that shouldn't be the case. Not in your twenties and thirties, okay. And then even with those pharmaceuticals, that you you know you, you get a stiff ass erection, and you're able to do your business, but it's affecting your body in other ways. That you don't even that you're not even aware of. She said you will run for me for help, and I will give you more poisons. You people not hearing this, man. Right? And she said we will use our science and our knowledge of pseudoscience. We will. They basically have taken false science and made it a standard, and so now people believe in lies. They're not believing it because remember the word science means to know. That's all it really means. It means to know. So what they're doing is, a matter of fact, I'm going to reload that because we're going to have to listen to that again. Um, to the secret council, which is, and, and, you know, and, and so pseudo, matter of fact, let's get that. Because that's what they've done. You, you don't believe in science. Well, the science says, the science says, and then if you, you like you said, if you see the issue, like I keep talking about, and now people are starting to, I'm actually starting to see comments and other people making a mention of it. All the dead branches on all the trees. Now all of a sudden you got birds dying all over America. If the, if the trees die, the birds die, guess what? You get your oxygen from the leaves. So all these trees, you, all these trees are missing, um, have branches with no life on it, all thinned out. And it makes you wonder, what are they going to look like next year? They look so Thinned out now. A lot of leaves. We're in the midsummer, and leaves are already turning colors like it's fall. Then you got these strange diseases that are killing birds. Don't you know that the trees are stronger than we? And if it's making the trees sick, what? Do you, because why? The trees don't get to come inside when when all those chemicals are, are coming down on them. They're getting bombarded with it all the time. And like it's raining for the next four or five days here in Chicago. And I and I, I remember talking to uh, Uriah uh, the, the, uh, the other day when it was nice and sunny. And I, and I was talking about how they tagged the skies with uh, uh, with the chemtrails. And then I was like, yeah, musket is probably going to rain tonight or tomorrow. It's, it, because why? Because they tagged the skies like crazy with that shit. And, and that shit comes down on what? It comes down on the trees and the birds and the animals and the ground and the soil where we get our food from. And she talked about how they're going to bombard us with metals. And that's one of the main ingredients in that stuff that they spray in the skies. So this isn't, so is this a conspiracy or is this fact? You know, every everything is theory, just like the whole critical race theory card. What about critical race facts? Critical race history? Why well, you got to throw theory in there? Because they don't want information uh, coming out. But this is uh, Psalms 83. Starting at verse 1. I'm going to read to about verse 6. And it reads, Keep not o thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Israel has enemies. And the Lord is about to name them by race. And when you get to Luke, the first chapter, uh, somewhere around, let me go, let me go to there and then I'll come back. Let's go to Luke. Let's find that real quick. First chapter. 73, 74. It 
71 it is. It says that they, and this is speaking about, matter of fact, I started 69 just to get the point. And he raised up uh, an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. So the us is talking about the people in the house of David. That's not talking about the other nations. All right. And he spake by his mouth of his holy prophets and all the prophets were Israelites, not other nations, not heathens. Which have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. That hidden hand. And who's that hidden hand? We're about to read about it. Let's go back. Psalms 83 and 1. Now, and now we're in verse 2. And it reads, For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head, and they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. And they have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, and that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. How? But through their movies, their cartoons entertainment, imagery, their literature, all right? Through those things, they, they lie. They put their faces and they, they, they completely just lie about history, change history, or hide it, or don't speak about it, all right? On the scientific side, pharma, pharmaceuticals, all right, and prescription drugs that's supposed to help you, but they don't help you. And then, uh, you know, Maxine Waters. S starting from, you know, from the time you're a small, a small person until you're an adult. Ruining, ruining and destroying you. Um, I have a, 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 a lady that I don't know personally, but someone close to me knows her. I grew up with her. And uh, she's a flight attendant internationally. Works for United, so she took Maxine Waters and she regrets it. And this has been a, a healthy chick who's lived a healthy lifestyle, you know, as far as working out and eating, you know, because he's wicked as all hell, adulterous and everything else. But she has lived, a, uh, you know, eats healthy, works out on a regular basis all the time, not, not really sickly. And ever since she took Maxine Waters, she's had rashes and illnesses and ulcers and all sorts of things been happening to her body and even worse to her friend, her co-worker. And she says she regrets it. And, she, and if she survives this, she will never do it again. Well, I got a feeling that she's going to get brought back on the other side. Because uh, she is an Israelite, you know, of the Northern Kingdom. But I, I seriously doubt if uh, any of the men that, that are chosen would, would choose her. All right? Especially with her, uh, with her love for her enemy. You know, Edomite men, that is. Uh, this is... Uh, Verse verse uh, uh, 5, 80, Psalms 83 and 5. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against a confederate against the, the tabernacles, the houses of, the races of, the tabernacles of Edom, which are the so-called white people, and the Ishmaelites, those are a majority of the so-called Arabs, and Moab, so-called Chinese, and the Hagarines, more Ishmaelites, Gabal, uh, those are Hamites, and Ammon, Japanese, Amalek, the chief house of the devil, the, the Jewish, all right? The Philistines, more Africans, and the house of Tyre, more Africans, so-called. And Assur, the Assyrians, also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, Selah, all right? So these people have come together to, to keep you confounded. And like I said, you can't see the bubble when you're in the bubble. But guess what? This bubble is about to burst. It's about to burst. So let's let her, you know, say that one more time and listen good. And then you have it. Like, it's all right there on a the platter. Oh, she is or not? That's not my concern. Wow, this thing does not want to do what I tell it to do. Uh, but yeah, like he's like the brother said. She put it all on the platter. The Secret Covenant. This was apparently written by John D. Rockefeller, like in the early 1800s. An illusion. It will be so large, so vast. 
it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. Hmm. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. Gradualism. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water, also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find them a cure on our many fronts. Yep. Psalms 50 and 19. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. We will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their mind we and reproductive Lord. systems. From this, their children will be born dead, and we will conceal this information. This is Psalms 72 and 14. He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. So, hey, if the Lord don't come for my soul, and look at the horror on her face as she read that. Look at the pain. And see, this is what makes me think that maybe she may not be a, uh, you know, an Edomite, and, which it doesn't matter. Or she could just be an emotional woman. But reading that bothered her. When she read that about how your children are, you know, are gonna be attacked and targeted and destroyed. Look at look at the, the disgust and the pain in her face, the fear. Alright? Shit is real, man. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, in what they drink, eat, breathe, wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that poisons are good with fun images and musical tones. These people hate us, man. And, and the Lord, this is Proverbs 26 and 26, whose hatred is covered by deceit. So all in the name of medical aid and, and good science, it isn't. Whose hatred is covered by deceit and his wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. And so, you know, the, this information, this was on TikTok, like the brother said. Now it's all over YouTube, and I can only imagine where else it is. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used on film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons in the blood of their children and convince them it is for their help. Wow. We will start early on. When their minds are young, we will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill them and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine. It's almost like she's trying to hold back tears as she reads this. So, like I said, you know, the more the more I watch it, um, you know, they say their spirits bear witness. She, she's got too much compassion and and Edomites just don't have compassion. You've seen how Karen is. This this woman has compassion, man. So she may be another heathen or 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 she could be Jake, you know, but I doubt I seriously doubt if she's an Edomite. And that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will yet create yet more medicines. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed. And it's funny. My chiropractor, anti drugs and all that stuff you know my my uh my fellow trainers my, my professor you know anti drugs and, and really into holistic and natural things you know like the bible says food is your medicine you this medicine is in the foods all right but my 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 primary health care doctor that you know all about the, the pharmaceuticals all about it amazed that you know i'm I'm, you know, after get, getting sick and I got my, you know, got back on my, my, my health grind and nursed myself through the power of Yahweh Shai back to good health again. 
Because prior to that, you know, I took nothing. And she still, you know, every time I go see her, like, you're not taking anything? You who up to, and, you know, because they had me on, on four different drugs. And now, and, it, and basically within three months, I was down to two. And within six months, I was down to one. And now I'm down to none. Call her lawyer, how about you? now shy. All right. So the Lord's, you know, the Lord gave us foods and things and meats to heal us. You can't trust and believe in these people. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Abishai, Bashim Bakakwadash, Wa Ababa Ba, Kwam Yasharala.